What's up divas and divos? It's your girl April. So this video is going to be on some affordable virgin hair. So first of all, let me just tell you guys, this is the third time for me working with this company. They do have some really nice affordable hair. I do believe like all of it is shipped out of like a warehouse that they have in California. I'm not really sure, but I'll definitely post all of their links below for you guys. Now you guys already know how I feel about like loose wavy or curly hair. Like that's my go-to hair like for real next to like kinky straight and like light yakky i love those two but i love like the loose curly or the loose wavy because you ain't got to do nothing like who don't like to not do anything so they did send me three bundles of hair and i believe it was 22 20 20 and an 18 inch frontal that i went ahead and bleached like a few days ago and then I made the wig or no I made the wig and then I bleached the frontal and then I pre-plucked some of it and then I sewed on the elastic band and then I sewed on the comb it really didn't need a lot of pre-plucking because the frontal was like really in good shape I really didn't have to do much I did just do a little bit which was great and then other than that it was just like smooth sailing um this time around I did use a different cap and hopefully I uh, will remember so that way I can post it below for you guys. But it's more or less, it still is a wig making cap. But these are the ones that you have that have the adjustable straps that have the hooks in the back of them. So I did purchase those from Amazon, but you can get them um, a lot cheaper from like AliExpress. However, it's going to take a lengthier time. And it seems like they, ch they charge you per cap shipping. So like say you wanted to order 20 of them. You're going to get priced for each cap. So you're going to have 20 shippings. Like, you know what I'm saying? The shipping can end up being like $20. If the shipping is like a dollar, you're going to pay 20 bucks shipping if you purchase like 20 of the caps. So, but either way, you know what I'm saying? I do like the dome cap still, but I'm just trying to do different methods. So the bleaching came out really good. No extra hair came out. None of it shed while I was bleaching it or after I bleached it, which is great. There were some little knots that were un, you know, covered, but either way, it still has like that natural look. Once I'm finished bleaching it, I do rinse it out with like the shimmer light shampoo. So that's how I keep it from looking brassy, but also I do do use a 30 developer and I do use the salon selectives um, bleaching powder that is the blue color tone like I, said, I went ahead and I put an adjustable strap not an adjustable strap an elastic band in it and then I did put two combs in the nape area so it's wavy it's really pretty you know the one thing that I wasn't like a huge fan of is when I do bundles I really want the two bottoms to be like the same length because sometimes you can tell like from the bottom right here where you can see like more of the longer hair it kind of doesn't like gradually blend in so that's why when I do bundles it's always like for the two bottoms they're always the exact same length the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a small pair of my scissors and I'm going to cut the lace off This fits perfect. Like it is a little bit roomy, but you know, what wig isn't roomy? And of course the ear tabs are all the way right here like you find on a regular wig. So you definitely got to, you know, fix it and customize it to your liking. So
guys so i'm gonna make this really quick because i have somewhere to be but this was a challenge like a super challenge um i had to like basically do each portion alone normally i'll just do it all at one time but this one the way the lace is set up i had to actually just do this side and here it down and then the middle and then here and then here so that is how i had to do it and it's still a little bit roomy right here like i still need to cut some off but i'm not going to i'm just going to leave it like it is because you guys know you know um then I just was just gonna leave it the way it is, you know. But it's cool because you can put it up in an updo if you wanted to. I'm not gonna do that right now. But for the hair texture, it's pretty. I did cut off a lot from the sides of the ear tab, but you really do need to customize it to your preference. You just can't just put it on and think that it's gonna fit. So you just you definitely do have to cut it off. So Sunbeard does have some nice hair. I think the first time I worked with them, I did like some wavy hair. This is like wavy curly. This is really pretty. You see, I put some water to this with some conditioner, and this worked out just great for me. Color. At first, I was going to darken it like a red color, but then I just left it alone. But I do have some other curly ones that I got to do, so I'll probably make those red. You know, I'll make one of those red because I don't want to have like the same look all the time. But the parting is good in it. Um, It's curly hair, and I love curly hair loves it but you guys you can definitely check them out i'll post all the information below along with the direct link i do apologize if it was so long but it was like a challenge and this is like super long hair but it's still pretty so i like the way it came out you know what i mean it's like that summer beachy hair look and yeah it's very cool so i will see you guys on a soon to come video make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs this video up share this with all your social media friends and family let me know what you think down below all the info and direct links to some bare hair will be in the description box i love you guys and i'll see you guys on another side